So before you buy ZBrush, you should first download Blender. Hey, what's up? My name is Al, and I've been asked this question a lot. Should I buy ZBrush? Not me, but you, the viewer. This is a question that I'm asked all the time. Before you go and steal your mother's credit card and buy ZBrush, let's talk about it. Let me lay some groundwork for you. I've been using ZBrush for six years now and sculpting in Blender for about a year. And I love you. Even though we've never met, I love you and I want you to make the most informed decision that you can when spending this much money. Step one. You need to sit down, ask yourself these questions or questions similar. Why do you want ZBrush? Write it down, trust me on this. Why do you think you need ZBrush? What are your long-term goals? Do you wanna work in the film industry or video games? Is this a hobby? Are you a student? Can you afford it? Can your mother afford it? So if you are new to sculpting, and I mean brand spanking new, never really sculpted anything in your life, I've got two paths for you. So the first path is download Blender. I know this sounds counterintuitive. I know this sounds crazy. If you haven't downloaded Blender, download Blender and just try sculpting. None of the fancy EV renders, geometry nodes, all the wonderful things that Blender can do. Just sculpting. Or download ZBrush Core Mini. So ZBrush Core Mini is the free version of ZBrush and that's really all it can do is sculpt. So there's no worry about getting distracted with anything else. Now what I want you to do in Core Mini or Blender is two weeks of just like heavy sculpting, following tutorials, sculpting your own things. And you know, we're talking like two plus hours a day, like dabbling for a month, I'd say like roughly 30 hours. Now, this isn't gonna make you an expert at the end of this 30 hours, but it should tell you if you enjoy the process of sculpting or not. Hey, so after those 30 hours, whether that's you did that in a week or a month, whatever, maybe two months, I want you to download the 14 day trial of ZBrush. Now there's a steep learning curve with this. Come back to this channel, ask questions if you need it. Same kind of thing. We're going to do 30 hours in this trial of ZBrush and we're not going to get distracted. We're not going to get distracted with Z modeler or fiber mesh or poly painting or anything like that. Just sculpting. Step four, I want you to pause, take a breath, do some self reflection. Remember those questions I asked you at the start of this video? We're going to answer those again and answer some new ones. Will Blender be able to meet your goals that you have for yourself? Did you actually talk to your mother about spending money? Did you enjoy sculpting regardless of what software you were in? What did you like about sculpting? Make a pros and cons list for Blender and ZBrush, but this is your list, not my opinion. You haven't looked anything else up online. This is just the good things about Blender that you found and the bad things about Blender. Same thing for ZBrush. Step five, we've got several options here. First off, if you loved Blender sculpting and it's gonna meet your goals, it meets your needs, go sculpt right now in Blender. Stick with Blender, learn everything that you can. So if you're still here, I'm assuming that you're on the ZBrush path. There are three choices ahead of you. One, are you a student? If you are, you can show your credentials, get ZBrush for $20 a year. If you're not a student, you can pay $40 per month and get ZBrush. Now I hate subscription models, but that is an option for you. The other option is buy a perpetual license of ZBrush for $895. Buy once, cry once. Step six, talk to your mother, buy ZBrush. So remember ZBrush and Blender, they're just tools. And they have different uses. All the fundamentals of sculpting will transfer to any sculpting software after you learn the tools. At this point, you might be asking yourself, hey, you didn't tell me if I should buy ZBrush or not. Well, that's because I've laid out a plan where you can decide for yourself. Watch this video if you want to see exactly when and why you should quit Blender for ZBrush.